Citrus trees are a regulated commodity that uh, can, because citrus trees carry a series of grass transmissible diseases and there's a lot of regulations around them. Uh, one of the things we do at Tree Source when we provide you a liner is we provide you a tree that is already clean and uh, legal to move into any uh, other county. Uh, but the uh, county ag commissioner wants to be a part of all those types of movements. So when you get a tree from us, you will have a moving permit uh, and moving documentation from tree source to your location. You'll call the county ag commissioner and he'll come out and he'll review that paperwork. And at that time is when it's a good time to say, okay, when I'm ready to move these trees in a year from now, what do I need to do? And he'll go through those details and if he doesn't know the answer, then he'll find out. Uh, typically, there's forms that uh, require the interior quarantines for Citrus Tristeza virus or CTV. Uh, they look something like this with a blue tag on it. Uh, there may be a form like the Certificate of uh, Compliance, uh, which the of qu quarantine compliance that the Ag Commissioner may also fill out. Um, and if you're going to move the tree, grow the trees in one location and move them into a different county, there may be some other requirements. Um, you know, citrus has a lot of diseases uh, such like the, the HLB or sweet orange scab or citrus tristeza virus that all have quarantine issues about them. Uh, also there may be um, the Asian citrus psyllo quarantine. So uh, a lot of these things are changing and uh, there may be things like glass wing sharpshooter uh, regulations. And so because they're changing all the time, uh, it's important to stay in contact with the Ag Commissioner when you're ready to move the tree. You really don't have to do anything uh, until you're ready to move the tree from your location to the planting location. They're going to want to know uh, what you've done and so it's very important just to stay in contact with them. On the citrus uh, liner or the starter tree, uh, there's a tag and this tag has on it the, a code name for the, for the variety and rootstock. And then underneath it, there is a um, registration number that represents the mother tree that it came from, the original tree that uh, the budwood came from. And that registration number is important for your paperwork when you decide to move the trees to another location. That, that registration number will also be on the paperwork that we send you when you originally get it. So make sure you keep a copy because that paperwork would be valuable for you when you start putting your paperwork together to move your trees to your planting location. It's not really super complicated, uh, especially if, uh, if you just talk to the Ag Commissioner and they will work you through the details. Uh, it is not simple though. Uh, you need to make sure you do, the, do your part because functionally as a, even as a ranch nursery, you are considered a wholesale nursery, which is where the regulations for movement of trees is most stringently enforced. And so it's important to be able to know what you, you can do and can't do. If your planting location is right next to your uh, orchard that you're going to plant, it's unlikely there's going to be much paperwork that's required. It's just the farther you move them, whether you cross county lines, whether you are moving from uh, one quarantine zone to another zone, those are the things that start getting more complicated. That's why it's important to know what those rules and regulations are at the time that you receive your liners um, when the Ag Commissioner is there at the beginning.